YouTube, it's Drew Stu. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking out the videos. And uh, the reason we are in the virtual arena today is because of some new subscribers asking about handling steers. So what I wanted to do is, is appeal to all of you visual learners out there. I want to show you the big picture of what we're talking about before we go out into the arena and do it. And as far as I know, nobody's ever drawn out how to handle steers so that, so that you can understand it. I'm a big believer in making it simple. And if I think if you guys can see it, see it here on the screen, then you're going to be able to go out in the arena and try to duplicate it. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to jump right in. We're going to look at uh, four different kinds of steers and how to handle them. A steer that runs straight down the arena, a steer that runs right, a steer that runs left, and then we're going to talk about uh, breaking in fresh steers and the absolute worst handle that somebody can give you when they think they're helping you out. And that's this one right over here, the big hook. So diving right into it. What are all these crazy lines in the arena? Well, it's very simple. The brown is the head horse, the blue is the steer, and the purple is the heel horse. So what we're going to look at right here is your typical good run. Straight down the pin. If we could mimic this run every time, we'd make jillions of dollars in the team roping pen. So this is going to be our average run that we want to put together every single time. It's too bad that in roping we call it average because this is not average. If we could do this every time, you would be awesome. So this is our eight second run, okay? And if you could set this up, you can pull this up or down the arena however fast or however slow you want to be, and this is the run we want every single time. So Get a couple things out of the way real quick. This is down the arena. Towards the catch pin is down the arena. When they talk about coming up the pin or up the arena, that is back towards the boxes. So there's a little bit of conf confusion out there once in a while. So getting right into it. Here's a good run. This is what we want ultimately. We want to nod our head, and we're going to go down the pin right here. About right here is when we're going to rope. We're going to dally, and right here in the corner is when that steer starts feeling the tension of our rope. When that steer starts feeling that tension, if we're wide like we should be right here with our with our width, then that steer's head's going to come to the left on the inside. His left horn is going to go to his left shoulder, and he's going to start heading left. What we've got to do on our head horse is we've got to round that corner, soften that steer up right there just a little, and then once we get him what we call in tow, where he's kind of behind us now, not straight behind us, but he's kind of to our back and left where we're looking at him where that rope's going from our saddle horn over our right leg and back to uh, back to that steer, then we want to come back up the arena just a little bit. And the reason we want to do that is to make that steer go straight across the pen. We can even have that steer come back up with us just a little bit is, is probably the absolute best handle. But just for simplicity, we're trying to get him to go straight across. The only way we can get him to go straight across is if we come back up the pin just a little bit like this. Here's the reason why. Right here in the cross where, that, where the healer will cross over that steer's path, right here is going to be his first jump. Then his second jump, third jump. At about that fourth jump, that steer is going to start finding his feet, and he's going to be able to run up the rope, match, match the speed with the head horse, so he'll start running, and as he matches that speed of the head horse, then he's going to get slack. He'll start drifting down that pin. So in order to keep him from doing that for the longest amount of time, we got to come back up the arena just a little bit, and it does a whole bunch of stuff to the steer's back feet and yada, yada, yada. But to keep it simple, headers, we want to rope them. Once that steer's head starts coming to us, then we do a nice round corner, not a big round corner, just about one, two jumps, and then we start coming back up the pin, and we keep control of that steer's head, and that's going to give your healer a good shot. If your healer's over here doing his job, he's hazing right. He's going to see that rope go on. He's going to see that steer shaping up, and look right here is his first shot. He's got a shot as fast as you can on that first jump, and then he'll probably end up roping in between that first and fourth jump every single time. So, and and that's no matter what, because he's going to get a good look at him right there. So. That's, that's your best handle right there. That's the scenario that we're looking for every time is to have those steers run straight. So we're going to get that out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do another fairly easy one, and that's steers that run left. It's about the same. It's actually the same exact, same exact one that we had over there. So 
we pull this down in here and set it in the arena and we zoom back in on it and we look at this and we see that the pattern is just about the same okay it's not realistic coming out of the boxes because if they're running left headers you're gonna break left but anyway headers you want to break wide on this steer that runs left so you're gonna break about right here you'll be coming left and you're gonna rope them right here and same deal you're gonna soften that corner but then you're going to be coming up. Now you're going to be coming up the arena a little more than you were on that run where the steer ran straight. But virtually this is the same exact handle, same exact setup as a steer that runs straight. This is probably your, it's almost easier to handle these steers sometimes. Now healers, you don't want to break them off this much. The best run is just make them run straight down the pen for us headers, okay? But right here, same deal, a healer's coming over. His horse is going to be going left. He's going to be able to just step in there, and he's got that first throw right there. So steer that steps left, it's about the same deal. Your angle is just going to be coming back up the arena. Since we're already going left, that steer is going to be coming back up the arena. Everybody's going to be coming back up just because that run just kind of rotated around there to the left. I hope everybody kind of understands that. So we're going to move that out of the way, and we're going to go to a steer that runs right. And I'm trying to kind of bang through this, guys, because I've done this about four times, and these videos ended up being like 15 minutes long. So I'm trying to condense it all down here. So here's one that runs right. Now, headers, this is one you can royally screw up. Okay, the next two you can really, really screw up for your healers. And this is why. So this steer is going to come out right here, and he's going to break to the right. And what happens is a lot of times ropers say, well, Drew Stu just said, go ahead and that I can go ahead and I want to come back up the arena when I handle one. Well, look what happens. When they run right, look at this angle right here. See how sharp that is right there? That's a sharp angle. If we go back over here and look, see the difference between this angle right here and this angle right here? I mean, there's, there's no comparison. It is extremely sharp. And it's really, 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 really hard on a healer. See the difference right there in those brown lines? Okay, there's a big, big difference between those two angles. It's almost half, okay? So what you're doing is you're making a really, really sharp corner for the steer and for your healer. So this is what happens, ropers. Headers, you get it on them, and you say, okay, i got to come back up the pin. We're running right, but i got to come back up the pin. The steer comes back up the pin with you. And our healer, because the steer's running right, he's over here putting a good haze on one, trying to run at his eyeball, getting him to break right for you. And you jerk this steer away from him. So your healer's going to end up running by the corner. Then he's going to have to break his horse right through himself to come back up. And he's not going to get a throw until about that fourth jump. Our first jump's right here. Second, third, about our fourth jump, he's going to get a throw. So that's adding another second, two seconds onto the run, may, maybe even three. So headers, what you want to do here when they run right, you've got to realize what's going on and realize that chances are your healer's trying to help you by giving you a haze. So you want to go out here and get it on them, and then you need to soften this corner a little bit. You don't want to come at this angle right here. You want to kind of come like maybe right here. Almost now this time you might want to go straight across the pin that steer will handle right here, and that will allow that healer to come in and get his crossover in behind the steer, get in position and rope. So when they run right headers, you've got to pay attention to your healers. Note to the healers. Healers, if those steers are beating you to the fence and will not take a haze, just back off him. Get back here and ride back here because what will happen, if, you, if he's not taking the haze, you're better off to drop back. Don't hit your headers rope. Stay out of his way. Let him go get him and then you just come in and, and ride for position. If they're not taking a haze healers, just go ahead and back off. That's the best thing for you to do. So headers, if they run right, you got to soften that corner and don't make it this sharp, okay? Just go about straight across and just kind of pay attention. Be, be savvy to what's going on in the run, okay, headers? You gotta, might have to look over and see where your healer's at. So anyway, our last one that we're going to look at is what I call the big sweep. And the big sweep is very, very often confused by headers. They think they're doing a, such a service by this really soft handle that they give 
and it is absolutely wretched to heal behind. It is the hardest heel shot we can have anywhere. Whoops. Let me get back to the deal here. So uh, anyway, so what happens here is we go out the steer run straight. Header gets it on him. Everything's good. He starts in his handle like normal, but then he keeps doing it, and he keeps going down the pin, and he keeps going down the pin, and keeps going down the pin, and the whole time he's thinking, man, I'm giving a really nice soft handle. I'm giving it's so soft. This this healer should be able to get him. Look at the steer. He's just drifting down out here, and this is easy. Okay, and here's in reality what happens. You go down and get it on. You start this nice corner just like we should, and then right here, this steer is out there, and the healer still hasn't had a chance to cross over yet. So he doesn't cross over till way over here. So the steer gets over here. Well, about here, that fourth or fifth jump, that steer finds his feet, and he starts running up the rope. Well, look what happens. If that healer doesn't get over there, this steer is going to run up the rope, and look what his path does. Comes right here, and he drapes that head rope right underneath that head horse's tail. The header gets bucked off and breaks three ribs and cracks a collarbone, and he's pissed off because the healer didn't throw and catch any feet and save his life on this really good handle that he gave. So, headers, this handle right here is the hardest shot we have as a healer. Because healers, we come down here, and our, we don't have a definite corner to ride for. Our heel horse never has a chance to cross over and get over here in position because he doesn't. the heel horse is confused. The healer's confused. Then right about here, we finally get our horse inside, and chances are we're having to do that deal where we reach over that steer's hip and try to catch him. And if we don't rope a leg, he is going to be on a loose rope, and he's going to run up underneath your horse. And guys, we see that all the time. So that's a really, really tough handle. Now, total side note, if you're breaking in steers, this is the handle you got to give. You're breaking them in. You got to let them feel the rope. They're going to be hopping down there on fresh steers. You got to let them do this, okay? But a healer still got to try to get them roped right in here somewhere, right in this area right here before that steer finds his feet and starts running up the rope. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you out. Headers, the big sweep sucks. Hate the big sweep. When they run right, like this deal over here, when they run right, Headers, you got to soften that angle for us, soften that corner, so that we don't have to, so that we don't end up running by and then coming back. If they're running straight like this right here, look how it all works. That that heel horse is going to get in there and gets the quickest shot right there. This shot doesn't happen till right here. This shot doesn't happen till right here. Right here on these two, that shot happens in the perfect place. So. Once again, Ropers, I hope this really helps you. I hope you can visualize it. What we're going to do is we're going to go out to the arena and uh, we'll get the GoPro on and we'll look at those runs and we'll try to show you what it looks like on a horse. So once again, just try to get them straight. Healers, you keep them going straight for the guys and he's going to give you a good handle 90% of the time. Headers, just come back up the arena, tick right there. That healer is going to have great throws all the way from that crossover to right in here. A steer starts getting bad after about that fourth or fifth jump. So anyway, Ropers, hope that helps a bunch for you. Good luck on your team rope. And once again, thanks for subscribing. Shoot an email, shoot a text, share these videos, and uh, hope it helps you a bunch. We'll catch you on the flip side, everybody. Take it easy.